Hello everyone, this is my Jew friend Yuri. He is 16 and lives in Nazareth. Yuri is almost 16 and she lives in Sharkham with him. His favorite things to do are to play the violin, be with friends or play sports. Yuri likes to do gymnastics and likes to paint. Usually, when I talk about Christian, Muslim or a Jew sitting in the same room, People think it's a beginning of a joke. <laughs> <laughs> but here we are, in the same, sitting in the same room, having a discussion about which type of music is better, pop or rock. <laughs> when I told people I'm about to participate in the Friends Forever program and fly to the US with Arabs, they asked me, Why would you do that kind of a thing? <laughs> but it's impossible to get along with them. They are too different from us. Well, I'll tell you why, why. Because this delegation represents the future of our relation. I don't want to keep living in a world where people judge us only by our clear religion, skin tone, or gender. Obviously, I don't want anyone to think that I am a terrorist because I'm a And I definitely don't want to be underestimated or mocked just because I'm a girl and not a guy. Um, this journey makes us connected through living together, sharing a journey, and sharing a house together, living together, and learning us, teaching us how to solve our problems together. If it's from doing the, the dishes, the laundry, or much more, these experiences connect us, connect us through non political ways, but through friendships. We want to talk to you about how the world works in 2017. As teenagers, it's important for us to know, to know what's going on here, because you adults make it, may make it too, too hard for us, too difficult for us, to be honest. Our home planet Earth is divided into countries, states, cities, or communities. But actually, if you think about it, all of these were created by man. And who? And only exist in our imagination. This is why we think we have the ability to fix them. A lot of you will say, how are you planning to solve this problem? Or oh, this problem? Uh, well, we think the key is overcoming stereotypes and stigmas. Our mission is to create a new generation of grown adults. We believe that the children of today are the leaders of tomorrow. And that is why we are here, with friends forever. Because they believe we can create a better future, and they also give us the tools to do that. Um, I want to share with you a personal story. When I was a kid, um, I used to hear that Jews are harmful and kill Arabs. So I hated him, and I judged him as killers without even knowing him or knowing one Jew person. But after I uh, take uh, part in, uh, in workshops with them and deal with the Jews, uh, I realized that Jews are not bad at all, and now half of my friends are Jews. Why story isn't fair in Israel, but that is exactly what we want to prove, that making change is possible. Another way, the thing we think that can solve the problem, is not getting to know each other's cultures better. We believe that the Arabs don't know enough about the Jewish uh, traditions, and the Jews don't know enough about the Arab traditions. So, if we learn about uh, each other's cultures, we think that the distance between these two, two cultures will be decreased because we, even though we have a lot of differences, we also have a lot of similarities. Before I joined the delegation, I didn't have any other friends, and none of my friends did. But right now, they're my best friends, and I love them all. To sum up, I want to emphasize about the importance of living together because we are all humans and we can't be controlled about uh, we can't control the by stereotypes and unbased fears. If we all accept one another, despite all the differences, a new generation of hopeful human beings will be taught to love and live peacefully. There is a sentence in Arabic which says, as we feel not in Hebrew, we can learn what we're talking about, 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 we're talking about
the same God. 